guys welcome back so today I'm going to do something very glowy so I'm using that primer it's the material pearl from German and I'm using the Armani foundation the luminous silk foundation and I'm finally using it it is a really nice foundation I really like the finish and um, yeah basically I'm just blending it out with my real techniques miracle complexion sponge and applying where I need it the most and yeah blending everything out I decided to use this foundation to get a really glowy look. And now I'm going to conceal with my favorite concealers. I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer in fairly, fairly light neutral, sorry. And I'm going to blend everything out with my finger and drag a little bit on my eyelid so that I prime my eyes for the eyeshadow and I'm just basically putting the um, concealer everywhere. Because I really want it to be a quite a full coverage look but I want it to be glowy, so yeah. Now I'm highlighting and I'm using the Urban Decay Weightless Skin Naked Skin Concealer. And I'm putting it everywhere, blending it with the same damn sponge. Um, I really wanted it to be highlighted and glowy and yeah, you'll see the outcome. Um, well, you already saw the outcome in the intro. But anyways, I'm going to set everything with the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Powder. I'm going to ev set everything that I concealed, basically. and. Um, I'm going to concentrate the powder on the sides of my nose and on my chin and I'm also going to spot conceal with the Anastasia concealer and I just have two cheeky little spots and basically what I do I keep on saying basically I'm so sorry um, I grab the concealer and just drag the concealer outwards and blend it out and then set it with the same powder I set the rest of my face with well my concealer Next, I'm going to spritz my face with my custom mix of glycerin and rose water in my mini Fix Blush bottle. And right before it dries, I'm going to highlight. And I'm using an oldie but a goodie. I used to use this a lot um, a few months back, and I really like it. I'm also mixing it with the Becca Opal Shimmery Skin Perfector. And I really like the outcome. It's really like golden. It's really glowy. I really like how it came out really. Um, I think it's one of my favorite combinations I have ever done of highlighters. But yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Um, I'm also highlighting the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And I never highlight that much, but yeah. Another tip is like if you want a forehead that is glowy but not oily, because I really don't like like oily looking foreheads, I put a tiny bit of highlighter and then I use my brush, that brush that has a little bit of powder and blended everything in so it looks like really nice. Next I use the same uh, setting spray, not setting spray, the same spray. And I'm using these um, like metary pearls. I'm not really sure what they're called. I'm going to link them down below. But they're the limited editions that um, German always brings out during the Christmas time. And it has like a hot pink, so I use that as blush with my Artiste number 53 highlighter brush. I'll link everything down below if you are interested in the products I used. So yeah, I just blended everything out with the setting brush by Real Techniques and then I'm bronzing my face. I did bronzer last because last. Oh my god. I did bronzer last because I wanted everything to look quite bronzy and not like too pink from the blush. You know what I mean? But yeah. Anyways, I'm doing my eyebrows and as per usual I'm combing them up combing them upwards. And today I'm doing a different technique. Um, I have never shown you this technique on my channel before. But it is using eyebrow gel first and then filling them in. I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I'm just combing my eyebrows, ev like every single hair, where I want the hairs to go. The direction of the hairs, but yeah. I used a tiny bit and then I combed them through well. And then for eyebrows, I'm, as per usual, uh, filling them in with powder, the Chi Chi Mats 2 palette. And as you can see, I, I want it to be quite defined at the bottom and really messy at the top. That's why I want, like really sparse hairs at the very top of my brow. I'm not really sure how to explain it. You'll see the outcome. But yeah. I'm just dragging out a little bit, like the tail of my brow, the end of my brow, so it looks like nice and fluffy. I don't know if that's the appropriate word, <laughs> fluffy. Anyways, brushing them through, I'm brushing them through so I get like most of the product out and they look nice and natural. And just doing a few strokes, hair strokes, feather-like strokes, so I get like this natural look. And I set my face with the Urban Decay setting spray and then using the full exposure palette, I'm going to use the Matte 5. That's the, I think that is, that's how it's called, Matte 5, I'm not sure. But I use that shade as a transition shade. This eye look is really, really easy. Um, basically I just use 
that shade and then I used the matte 4 on my lid to like lighten it up a tiny bit and I wanted to leave it like that at first but then I'm like no I want it shimmery so I just started buffing everything out that's when I made up my mind that I wanted it shimmery and then I used some of the same spray I used on my face and then the shimmer 5 the s5 shade on my lid with that flat synthetic brush and I'm packing everything closest to my lash line and then dragging it upwards so where I want the most intensity and where I want it the most opaque, I want it at the lash line. And then I keep on dragging it upwards, blending it with the same brush. I know it's kind of weird blending it with that brush, but I just kind of keep dragging that. And then to blend everything really nicely, I use the same blending blush, blush, brush. Ugh, I can't speak. Then I did a tiny kind of like cat eye at the very end. It's like a shadow smudge cat eye, so I defined my almond eyes and elongated them and then with the same tiny brush I just buffed it out, smudged it out, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And um, next I'm curling my eyelashes and I'm giving them quite a good curl because at first I thought I was like, no, I'm not going to use any eyelashes. Well, fake eyelashes. I'm not going to use any fake eyelashes, but then I said, yeah, whatever. And um, using this mascara, I've never used it on my channel before. It is the Dior Show Icon Iconic Dior Show, I'm not sure. I'm going to link it down below, the name rubbed off. But yeah, applying mascara as you would on my lower lashes. And yeah, you know how to apply mascara. <laughs> Next, I'm using the Huda Beauty Farah number 12 Foaming Lashes and using my duo, um, sorry for a car. Um, strip lash adhesive or something like that. I have everything linked down below. But yeah, these are one of my favorite lashes. I really like how wispy they look and they're like quite long at the end of the eyelash so they elongate my eye as well. And I don't know, I think I matched it up really nicely with this look. Just applying them as you would, struggling. <laughs> yeah, I did have a little bit of a struggle with this eyelash. But yeah, I applied it. Like the second one and then give them like kind of a curl not really just to make sure they are like clumped together is that a word anyways i'm using the revlon red cherry lipstick this is one of my favorite lipsticks it's kind of like a red wine very berry very autumn i really like it and i did to decided and what and i decided to uh, not use a lip liner and just go straight in bite the bullet and go ahead and do it since it's creamy. The only thing I don't like about this lipstick is that it's very creamy. Sometimes I do like it, sometimes I don't. You could definitely use a lip liner with this. Um, but yeah, I just cleaned everything up with concealer. And a little tip is that um, I just stick my finger in my mouth, as gross as it sounds, and I take the excess lipstick off. But yeah, that's the finished look, guys. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye!